Hey everybody, today we are doing an album that I kind of wanted to listen to and also I know a few of you did recommend this one. And it's called Lift Your Skinny Fists Like Antennas to Heaven. That's a dramatic album title. <laughs> By Godspeed You Black Emperor. I literally don't know what I'm getting into. It's four songs long and that's why this reaction is going to be a little bit different. Each song is like 20 minutes long so... <laughs> We'll see what happens, I guess. I don't know what to expect. I don't know what I'm getting into, but I'm honestly super excited about it because, again, this is another really highly praised album, and I just, I'm interested. I've seen the album cover everywhere. I've been in, like, record stores, and I've seen it out there, and I've been like, oh, I've seen that before. I've seen people talk about that. I've heard people talk about it. So, yeah, I, I'm I'm honestly super excited again. So let's just let's just do it. The first song is called Storm, and yeah, it's 22 minutes and 33 seconds. I feel like this is either gonna really click with me, or I'm gonna be sitting here just like, the whole time, we'll see. <laughs> okay, I already didn't expect this. I was expecting a lot of noise, but this is really pretty. This is really cool already, what the hell?
mind is my mind is It's not over. Welcome to Argo GMC and Main Market. We would like to invite our customers and any individual who offers to come gas, watch with them, or to rent the product. What the fucking hell? That was 20 minutes? That felt like five. Holy shit. That was good. Oh my god. This isn't me overreacting. This is just how genuinely excited I am. Hearing something like this, just this incredible and huge and just grand and mind-blowing it just gets me so excited <laughs> that track was incredible if this is any sign for how the rest of the album is gonna be this is gonna be fucking amazing i i don't even like it was so beautiful at the beginning and then it took it's this huge just progression and this wall of sound happened and a beat was created within the wall of sound. That's what really got me. Because it was just this one, like, droning note. And then you could hear the drums start coming in. And I was just like, no. No way. No fucking way. And the way the tempo slowed down at the end. And then at the very end, it was, like, the piano that came in. That was... Holy shit. This is amazing. Like, wow. Wow. I'm really interested about the lyrics as well. Because... I mean, the only lyrics really were these intercom things, like a, if you were if you were walking in a store and you'd hear like blah 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 on the speakers. I mean, that's what was going on. But why? I don't know. Yeah, man, it's gonna be real hard to follow that up. But I have a real good feeling about this album. The next, I'm gonna say segment is called Static. <laughs>
there's got to be some sort of concept or something to this album because this feels like it's in a post-apocalyptic sort of thing. I don't know. How is it still not over? This part is called the buildings they are sleeping now. That's so appropriate. This is a big pill to swallow. Oh my god. Honestly, the first like bit of the song or the section of this album, like just static, took it took a minute for me to get into it. I thought the spoken word thing was really cool, but it was ta it was taking a little while, you know. I mean, it is it is a 22 minute song, but the payoff for my patience, holy shit.
dude, the build up with the tempo increasing and everything exploding. Oh my god. Jesus fuck. Like I need a minute to digest everything. These first two tracks, like, what do I even... This is definitely unlike anything I've ever heard before. I just, I cannot get over how incredible that payoff was. Fuck, we're only halfway through this thing. Alright, next section is called Sleep. It was Coney Island, they called Coney Island the playground of the world. And we used to sleep on the beach here. Sleep overnight. They don't, they don't do it anymore. They don't sleep anymore on the beach. Interesting.
sound right now in the best way possible. I'm out of words. I don't even know what to say anymore. Besides the fact that that was another, once again, beautiful, mind-blowing, incredibly conceptually all put together and just beautifully made in that way, I guess. The payoffs to all of these songs are always so fucking good. What a fucking ride this album is. The last section to this album, Like Antennas to Heaven.
hear me again. Jeez. That was Lift Your Skinny Fists Like Antennas to Heaven. I feel like a changed person. <laughs> oh my fucking god. This album. I legit am finding it hard to come up with something to say. I... <laughs> this was incredible. Jeez. <sighs> what a journey. What a journey this album is. Oh my god. That closer was like the perfect ending to this album as well. It was so, I legit think it was a perfect ending. I wouldn't have asked for anything different. Such a peaceful end. 
after all the chaos and dissonance, but also beautiful moments that were out this entire thing. This album was such a roller coaster of emotions and sounds and feelings. It's just like, it was all over the place. But that, it did it in such a transformative way with the transitioning to each of those moments from like, you know, chaos to calm or from calm to chaos or from ambience to dissonance, you know, like it just all did it so gracefully in a way. I don't know. I may be making no sense. I, I may sound insane, like an insane person. <laughs> but jeez, man, like, wow. I'm sorry if towards the end I didn't really have much to say. I just, I was sitting there just mind blown, really. I need to sit with this one. This is such a huge pill to swallow. But I can tell you right now that this was Fucking incredible. Oh my god. This truly felt like a journey from the beginning to the end. It felt like an entire story. Like It felt like a lifetime, but also not even. I, I don't know. I really am curious to see what the themes of this album are. Even though there aren't much lyrics, there are some spoken word stuff, and there's like names to all of these parts within each section of the album. So I'm, I'm really curious. I, I wanna dig into that because I feel like there's a concept to this album. I feel like there's a bigger, you know, theme behind this whole transition of noise. <laughs> but yeah, jaw drop. I mean, you saw my reaction. I was just sitting there either closing my eyes, staring off into space or my mouth was just to the floor. There were many, many points on this album where I was absolutely floored. This was truly an experience. I'll, I'll leave it to uh, my future self to wrap this one up because, yeah, I really need time to sit with this, but... <sighs> oh, man. Yeah, I'll, I'll see you in the future, I guess. So looking at this album now in the future, I think at the time when I listened to this album, I was just really overwhelmed. I'm, I'm pretty sure you could tell at the end, I was just like kind of drained because <laughs> it, was, it was a lot to handle. I mean, and it was an hour and a half long, but this album really is incredible. I really don't have anything to complain about. If I were to pick a favorite, uh, I don't know. That's a, that's a hard question. I think originally my least favorite was Sleep, and I have no clue why, because that might be my favorite now. I don't know, it's it's a really close tie between Storm, Sleep, and Static. Originally I thought one of my problems was also that the intro to Static was a little too long, but on re-listen, it just, it just works. Overall, I legit am feeling A10. I swear I don't give 10s out this often, I just have been listening to a lot of really good music recently. But yeah, this album is really sp something special, and it's such a, just a journey. It's hard for me not to really appreciate it in that way. But yeah, as always, thank you for, for watching, I really appreciate you sticking around to the end. And I have more stuff coming up, coming up so look forward to that, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.